put these in my hair first of all. Get this hair out of the way. I have a funny story. Found this self tanning water that I had. I was like, oh, I should try that. Like, I've been using it forever and I forgot about it. So I put it on and I had a mitt and everything, but it's the Sally Hansen tanning water. You guys, look at my. <laughs> I didn't do my hands because usually it sticks to it a lot and there's like a whole line. Look at my arm. I, how did I miss that big of a section? Looks like I'm going to be wearing a sweater today until I can fix it later tonight. <laughs> That's so funny though. I just had to tell you if you're wondering why I look so weird. I did end up picking a product up that has been talked about so much. I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. And I got mine in the shade Fair Light. Um, they either had fair, fair light, or then they had a bunch of deep shades, so I just went with the fair light, because I thought, you know, that would be the best out of the options that I had. So, we're gonna try this out, um, underneath one of my favorite foundations, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is, like, one of my go-tos. I know how it wears on my skin. So, we're gonna do this under it. Probably do, like, some check-ins to see how it looks and I do normally have more combo oily skin so I'm a little nervous to see how this looks but also excited because I think it could make the skin look really healthy and like juicy so we'll see this is kind of what it looks like it is more on the expensive side for a drugstore it's $14 but if you compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury version which everyone's saying this is the dupe for that product is like 40 or 50 dollars i want to say i'm having a little lemonade don't mind me anyways we're gonna put this puppy to the test today and see how it works so let me go ahead and open it it is cruelty free and vegan some people wear this just as like a foundation i don't know if that's gonna work for me i am gonna go ahead and put a little primer underneath i'm gonna use my elf cookies and dreams one this is just the putty primer. I'm going to put it in the areas where my pores are more noticeable, like right here. Around the nose, kind of. Mostly like my T-zone. Here, up here. Ooh. It does have a big um, liquid applicator. It kind of looks like a giant concealer. So, we'll see. I'm just kind of going to... I don't know how much to use, so I'm just gonna kinda dot it all over the face, I guess. I mean, I guess the more glowy you wanna look, the more you can add. I think I'm gonna use my sponge to blend it out. Probably the easiest way. My skin's not perfect, like I definitely have breakouts sometimes, like it's just, that's how it is. So I dampened my AOA sponge and I'm just going to start kind of blending it out with that. Blends really easy. So it does give you a little bit of coverage. I kind of evened my skin tone out a little bit in some spots where I might have had like some redness and stuff and gave a nice pearly like finish. I want to do maybe a second layer to see if it is buildable because some people ju will just wear this as like their foundation. So let's add a little bit more. I really, really like the way this looks. Like it gives the skin a really pretty like almost like pearlescence. It's not glittery but it's like just a nice pearly finish. And I'm sometimes scared to look too glowy because like I said my skin is more on the oily side so you know we'll see how this wears throughout the day there's an airplane going past my house but you guys look at my face i think it looks pretty nice and that being said like i'm normally not a luminous glowy lover but i've kind of started that's like the popular thing now so i'm trying to get more into it and try some more glowy products and see how I like them. Bring out more texture in your skin because it is more of a reflect kind of look. But we're going to use powder and things too um, to set the face later on. I'm going to go ahead and put this foundation on. I have the shade 220 Natural Beige in my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then 
I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you guys um, the finished look. And I think I'm going to do some check-ins later on throughout the day. Here is what it looks like with the foundation. You can definitely still see the luminous glow like peeking through. But I think it actually looks really pretty in the skin. It makes it look really healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. And then I will pop on and show you guys um, what my makeup's looking like. You guys, so I actually just ended up finishing my makeup up. And I think it looks really, really pretty. Um, I did kind of more of a purpley eye, which I don't normally do. But I think it actually looks really pretty with like my dark eyes. Why don't I need to do this more? Why don't I use purple more? Um, but I used the Murphy Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette. And this was like one of those palettes in the vault that everyone was like freaking out because there was like inconsistencies. I don't know if I have a good one or a bad one, but I think it worked really well and it's pretty on the eyes. It's what I use today. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I only have two of these little um like vault palettes from her i think it looks really pretty on i like the dark purple vibe with the nude lip i think it's looking really gorgeous and i think you can still see a nice glow from this halo glow liquid filter i put a little highlighter on but even in the places i didn't put highlighter i feel like my skin just is kind of radiant and just looks healthy and has a nice little sheen to it um, like a glow from within, you know? So I think this looks pretty. Of course, I'm gonna, um, do some check-ins, keep you updated throughout the day on how everything is wearing and looking. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys the finished makeup. Okay, you guys, I'm literally in the middle of the store for this check-in, but this was around the three-hour wear mark, and as you can see, it's definitely emphasizing a lot of my pores and texture, so I don't love that necessarily, but it doesn't look horrible. You guys can see my pores are more visible, like my nose especially, I have big pores. But it does give the skin like a nice glow, you know what I mean? Like I'm still glowing. Hey guys, so it is later in the day actually. Um, it is 7.40 right now. Um, when I did my makeup and stuff, I think was around like 12.30 or so. Um, so I've had it on for quite a while now. This is how my face is looking so far. I think it still looks really good. I did use some oil blotting sheets though about maybe 20 minutes or so ago because I noticed like right here in my T-zone basically was pretty um, shiny. So I did do some oil blotting but right after that I think it still looks fine. Like it's perfectly good. It's matte enough for my liking so i think it looks pretty good still honestly it's holding up pretty pretty well i think i'm gonna have this on for a couple more hours still so i will do another check-in i just woke up from a big old nap look i have lipstick down here i look crazy it's currently 11:34 at night i just woke up and i I had taken a little nap, I guess. But anyways, I've had my makeup on now for like 10 hours at least. So, I think I'm done with this. Just, I'm ready to wash this makeup off my face. I'm tired and I just want to get this off. But with that being said, this is the last check-in for the night. It actually still looks okay even after taking like a fat nap. Like... It's really not that bad. It's starting to look a little cakey and stuff in some areas, but it could be way worse. It could be way, way worse. Like, it, it's not horrible. Add and wrap up talking about this product and what I think. Um, I honestly pretty, I honestly like this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I think it's pretty fun, especially for like the spring and summer to give you a nice healthy glow to your skin. I will say I don't love like how much it like made my skin texture more noticeable. Um, so I maybe next time I use it, I'm going to skip like this area and just focus more on like this portion of my face. Um, 
because I just didn't love how it like made my pores and stuff like right here and on my nose look as much but I do like the overall like nice glow that it gave to my skin so I'm gonna definitely keep playing around with it more and trying it in some different ways and different techniques and see how I like it if you're looking for a product like this then maybe try it out see how it works for you um but that pretty much wraps up today's video on this wear test I am so sleepy um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. It means so, so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next one.